Hello, today we're going to go over chords and inversions of chords. What is a chord? Well, a chord is when you play more than one note at the same time. Can you play a chord with the flute? No, unless there are more than one flute playing at the same time. There are so many types of chords out there, but you could say the mother of all chords is the major chord. And usually in music, you learn your major chords throughout all of the different notes. And then once you have that down, then you go and you learn the other chords, like your minor chords, your augmented, your diminished, your seventh, etc. We are now going to learn three major chords. We're going to learn C, F, and G. Let's go through C. So your C chord first, your thumb is going to be on C, and in your right hand, when your thumb is on the note, whatever note that is, in the major key, that's the name of the note. So because we're playing the C chord, our thumb needs to be on C. So our thumb is on C, middle finger's on E, our pinky is on G. If we moved up to F with our thumb on F, we would be playing the F chord. So if you play one, three, and five on F, this is your F chord. So your thumb is on F, your middle finger is on A, and your pinky's on C. If we move up one white note from there, so now our thumb is on G, our thumb plays G, our middle finger plays B, and our pinky plays D. So if I wanted to play the C chord, but instead of having the C on the bottom, on my thumb, I wanted to have the C on the top, just because. This right here is called an inversion. So now instead of playing C on the bottom, my C's on the top. It's still a C chord because I still have those same three notes. And whenever I'm playing these three notes together at the same time, this is guaranteed a C chord, okay? C, E, G equals C chord. But sometimes you don't play it in that order. Sometimes you want to play E, G, C, because it just makes sense in the song at that time, right? This is called an inversion. You could do the same thing with the F chord. So let's write it out. Fact. Okay, so we're gonna take this F and we're gonna move it to the other side. So it's gonna be A, that doesn't wanna write, C and F. First inversion. Let's do it again. C, F, A. Second inversion. And then the one above that is it just goes back to the same position, C position, just up an octave. So now what you could do is you could take the chords in the right order. So you start with your C chord in the root position and then you invert it. So you go to first inversion, second inversion, C chord and go all the way up. You can start at middle C and go all the way to the very end and you could see how fast you can go. It's kind of fun. Let me show you. Thank you so much, everyone who took the time to watch this video. I really appreciate it. I make all of these videos on a voluntary basis, and I really, really appreciate all of you who like my videos, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me to continue to make these videos. I just recently launched a new product. Um, I launched my first bundle of piano lesson videos. This bundle contains eight videos, and please feel free to check it out on my site under shop. It's like $3.99. So it's literally the same price as buying a latte. Thank you so much again for all of you who support me.